North Carolina may be first in flight, but like much of the country, it is still new, uh, new to drone use, especially when it comes to local law enforcement using them to make arrests. CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki joins us live outside the Johnson County Courthouse with more on a case that has a lot of people talking, Holden. Well, that's exactly right, Angela. Johnson County Sheriff's deputies used the department's drone to gather evidence that led to a felony arrest, but at least one civil rights group is questioning if they didn't break the law themselves in the process. Since 2011, law enforcement agencies across North Carolina have been using drones as cheaper, more efficient alternatives to helicopters. There's emergencies in which this might be the quickest way law enforcement can get their eyes on a situation. It's the way drones are being deployed that's drawing the attention of groups like the ACLU. Well, this is one in a series of tools that have become available to local law enforcement over the last few years that make it easier for them to conduct surveillance on everyday citizens. According to warrants, Johnston County Sheriff's deputies recently deployed their drone to check out a tip that 37-year-old Nolan King Niddle had stolen property hidden in these woods. It was only after they used the drone to confirm the tip that they got a search warrant and made a felony arrest. We believe a warrant should have been required in this case. Uh, it is very disturbing that we have law enforcement basically conducting uh, just spying missions to see if they can spot something illegal. North Carolina law permits drone surveillance in areas within the officer's plain view or if the law enforcement agency first obtains a warrant. That has some questioning if the charges against Niddle should be dropped. This is why we have the protections of the Constitution. It's to prevent abuse. It's to prevent law enforcement officers from going rogue and using technology at their disposal to conduct searches of people who they might have a grudge against. I tried to reach out to both the Johnson County Sheriff's Office and the Johnston County DA and both declined comment on this story. In the meantime, Niddle remains in the Johnson County Jail awaiting a $131,000 bond. Live in Smithfield, Holden Krewicki, CBS 17 News.